Business Brain, episode 492 for Casual Friday, October, Friday the 13th, 2023. <music> Greetings, folks, and indeed, welcome to Business Brain, the scariest of all business brains, Casual Friday the 13th. I don't know, man. Uh, sponsors for this episode include Shopify.com slash Business Brain. That's where you can go to sign up for a $1 per month trial period. We'll talk more in depth about that in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire on Casual Friday, I'm Dave Hamilton. And I'm out here in, in Northern California still, Dave. Uh, this is Shannon Jean, and uh, happy to be here. Happy yeah. to talk about some great things and keep uh, tuning our business brain so we can keep learning. Yeah. And Always keep- important to point out that we're not the business brains. We oh, are no. No, focusing no. on our collective business brain so we can just get better, all of us. Because I always say I learn the most on these shows, uh, and I hope that uh, everybody. I hope else everybody feels through. that way. Yeah, like Thank that's you. that's yeah. yeah that's the goal. So and yep. and share things with us. We'd love hearing from you. In fact, we got a note from uh, Jeffrey who says uh, I happened upon an article that immediately made me think of you guys. You know what? I, I'm gonna I'm, I want to go. I want to rewind back before the beginning here. The subject of his email yeah. <laughs> was brilliant because it got my attention because I'm a, 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 a very shallow egomaniac. I'm a, I'm a podcast host, so obviously I'm a shallow egomaniac. Jeffrey's subject line for his email was, sounds like Dave Clark listens to you guys. So immediately I stopped everything I was doing and I read Jeffrey's email, which says, I happened upon an article that immediately made me think of you guys and business brain. That also great, like double good, double whammy on the start. Thanks, Jeffrey. Uh, It had to do with a guy named Dave Clark, who went from CEO of Amazon building their logistics to something called Flexport. The long and short of it is that after he was removed from his CEO position at Flexport, he updated his LinkedIn profile and moved Flexport from the experience section to the education section. Much like business brain listeners have heard it, about lost money or shuttering that business or any other mistake is the tuition for the education that propels you to the next level. Dave Clark did the same thing. Do you agree? I totally agree. I, what a, and what a brilliant move on his part to show some humility, but also reframe a quote unquote mistake into I've learned from this. Gosh. So like what smart guy, Really, really smart and nice catch, Jeff. I like this is, uh, yeah. Yeah. And the exposure behind this, because uh, it, it's, it's a lot of people are talking about it on LinkedIn and like this article and that kind of thing. And, yeah. and uh, it it is just so true. And I, I never even thought of doing that. And, you know, so many mistakes that I've made over my business life uh, that you're like, oh, wow, boy, I really learned that, that lesson, you know, and I, whether it's, getting into the wrong business or doing it the wrong way. Like, you know, I think this, this guy might've uh, misstepped on the way he handled things. Yeah. Um, uh, but he certainly learned a lot and just being self-aware that, well, you know, that's, yes, I failed. Okay. There's, there's no doubt in, in, about it, but I'm shifting this over to the education column because like uh, Nelson Mandela said, you know, I never lose. I either win or learn. And this is a great example of it. Yeah, I, it's brilliant, brilliant. So thanks for sharing that with us, Jeff. As always, feedback at businessbrain.show is the place where you are going to be able to send in emails like that. And then, like Jeff, you're going to be entered in to win that MacBook Air. We've got, what, eight episodes left before we're going to do this drawing. And and then eight episodes before we, we got to spend some money, Shannon. But that's okay. We, it's, that, that's actually a really good thing. Okay with so, me. I yeah, agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah. So feedback at businessbrain.show. Send them in. We want to hear from you. All right. So I have this business where we're publishing stuff for all the users that come in and we've been running it for a couple of years. And one morning at a staff meeting, one of my partners says, Hey, wouldn't it be great if we could offer merch to our partners? And it was like, Oh wow. Like I hadn't even been thinking about it, but it, it was clear based on the way the things were organized in this business that it was on me to make this happen. By the end of the day, uh, we were able to have T-shirts and hats and all that stuff. 
and it's so easy and it's all because I use Shopify. That's the sound that I get to hear every time there is a new sale on Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your shop online stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is there to help you grow. And it's because it doesn't matter what you're selling. Shopify helps you sell Everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person point of sale system, whatever you want, it just is there because Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. It's up to 36% better compared to other leading commerce platforms. This is why Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U S plus Shopify's award-winning support is there to help you and ensure your success every step of the way because businesses that grow grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash business brain, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash business brain now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash business brain. And uh, our thanks to Shopify for sponsoring this episode. Hey, Shannon, what do you know? Uh, hopefully more by the end of the show than uh, <laughs> than I did at the beginning. All right. Uh, but I know one thing is that we have a new uh, course coming out, actually a set of courses. And one of the things we've been talking about over time, repeatedly over the years, is how do we reuse some of that knowledge and that content uh, and this idea that knowledge is reusable. And every, every time you do something, you hit a small subset of your customers, your employees, whoever, and uh, you want to get comfortable with reusing what you've done before. You know, we were talking before the episode of what what word to use, right? Knowledge is, you, you said knowledge is not linear, and I knew what you meant, right? Because yeah. it, it you meant we, we can use it more than once, right? It's right. not just, right. if we talked about something two years ago, like, is there a rule that says we can't talk about it again? No. I mean, we don't want to talk about the same thing all the time because that would get boring for all of you and you would leave. But knowledge is reusable. I think there's another word as as we're having this conversation that might even be better. Knowledge is valuable. And it's valuable forever, or at least yeah. while it's relevant. As long as it's relevant, it remains valuable. It doesn't matter when you came up with the idea or when you first shared the idea or any of that, it, I, I, I think, I think, and I think there's a, like, certainly this is true for us with these courses that we're creating here in this, this series of courses that we've, we're almost done. We're going to roll them out. I, I, I'm going to say in two weeks, we're going to roll them out. Yeah, I'd and, say within two weeks, yeah. we're going to have uh, something exciting yeah. to talk about here. Uh, I think it's going to be But great. I think this is true for all of our businesses, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, taking that to in a different venue. One thing I love to do is look how other things work and see if you can apply that concept to your business, oh. even though it's completely different, yep. right? Yeah. And I got this, and I, and I started thinking about this um, being up on the X platform more and learning from people up there where they say, like, hey, you should always repost your content because if you post at eight in the morning, well, at 5 p.m., there's a different set of people that are online following and going to see because your stuff gets buried because there's yeah. so much content. And I was like, wow, that's really true. And then as I had the absolute uh, pleasure of going through this, uh, these seven and nine day courses that we that we're building out, I was like, man, this is so great because so many of these topics that we talked about in the past they're super relevant. And so getting them to hear them in a, a different venue, but to be reminded of them uh, and getting them exposed to another audience, really uh, important. So for your business, it may be talking about, you know, what you work on. If you're in the HVAC business, you know, posting articles about keeping your house cool, keep your house warm, whatever, you know, cleaning filters, whatever's relevant to your company, sharing that content with your customers repeatedly over time 
is important. So maybe in the spring, you're always sharing certain topics that are relevant, right? Um, maybe you start talking about like if you're in the pressure washing business and now as you roll in the holidays, you're like, Hey, yo, did you know that we hang Christmas lights? Yeah. Well, you're going to do that oh. every year and start talking about it. And then after Christmas, you start talking about, you know, how happy your customers are. And now you're taking things down and spring is here. Now it's time to clean. And, you know, uh, I think it's natural to say, well, I've already said that. I don't want to repeat that. You do want to repeat that because you're not talking to the same people over time. Or even if you not are talking to the same person, advertising yeah. works because of its repetition, right? You'll notice like right. Shopify here, right? They don't just come and sponsor one episode. Yeah, yeah. Right? They come and sponsor yes. multiple because they know we as humans, we need to hear about these things a few times before it sinks in, before it catches our attention at the right moment. And that is true for your business too. It's, it's, it's true because we're all marketing to humans. And so, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a, it's a really good concept. Um, and I just think it just hit home with me how there's so much of your knowledge that's it again, it's not linear. You just get to, you can cup step back into yeah. it. It may be changing the context. Uh, it may be changing the location where you're sharing it. Um, and that, that point you have to, is really true, but you know, advertising works works when people see it over and over. So, yeah. um, I'd love to hear how you do this or if you think we're right or wrong feedback at business show, uh, feedback at businessbrain.show. <laughs> We do have a domain like that it. goes businessshow.something, but I'm not going to say it. It's feedback at businessbrain.show. Yeah, that, that's the right place to get us. Thanks for hanging out with us this week. As usual, folks, I hope you have a great weekend. Make sure to check out our sponsor, shopify.com slash businessbrain. See, I'm repeating it for you. I know you already heard it, but it's important. This is good. Thanks for hanging out. Keep living that charmed life, huh? Hey, before you go... I have a quick suggestion for you about a previous episode of Business Brain. For this one, we go all the way back to 2016 for a discussion about some of our best interviews from that year. You'll find links to interviews with incredible business owners who have shared their successes and their failures with us. And these are people just like you that have powered through adversity to build their companies. And this is episode 99 with links to eight of our favorite business owner interviews. There's some real gold here for you to mine. You can search for the number 2016 at businessbrain.show or check the show notes for a link to this episode.